now a lot of the stock. Could you explain, because I'm a little confused about the relationship, could you explain the relationship between the Rodale Institute and the Rodale Press? Well, the, the Rodale Institute is a public nonprofit. It was started by my father in 1947 as a public foundation. Mm -hmm. It was originally called the Soil and Health Foundation. The purpose was to uh, ask readers of Organic Gardening magazine for contributions to be used for research by universities in organic farming. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was quite successful in, in getting contributions. Mm. They, 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 they did put together, in those days, a fairly sizable amount of money. What was really fascinating is they could not find a single university that would accept the money. So. They had the money to give and they no one would take it? No one would take it. Because of what you wanted them to do with it? Right. And we weren't saying that they had to uh, prove that organic gardening was better. We just wanted them to do some research in that area. Mm -hmm. Occasionally we could get uh, the scientists to say, okay, yeah, we'll do this. But it was always killed by the board of directors of the university. Mm -hmm. So uh, they that do? speaks a lot to the, uh, the climate in those days. The attitude then was that no person with any advanced degree, whether ma master's or PhD in agriculture, could ever work in organic farming because it was just voodoo. Now, are we still talking the 40s or are we coming to the This 50s? was the 50s, mm -hmm. 40s, 50, uh, I would say mid-50s. Mm -hmm. It didn't really begin to change, change very slowly. Maybe even got worse during the 60s, but in the 70s it began to change. Uh, so what we did <coughs> with the Soil and Health Foundation, we more or less put it in mothballs. It, it was a shell. And then my father died in 1971, and we uh, at that time we we, were, we then bought the uh, new what we call the new farm in uh, Maxitani, which is now the Rodale Research Center in Maxitani. Maxitani, Pennsylvania, uh -huh. near Kutztown. Okay. About 12 miles west of here, and we s decided to set up a more effective research center, and uh, uh, we also, we changed the name of, so well, first we called it Soil and Health Society to make it more of a membership mm -hmm. organization, then we changed the name to Rodale Institute, and we expanded the board. It's a long story, but uh, it's, it's completely independent of Rodale Press. It has a separate board of directors. Mm -hmm. I'm the chairman of, of it, as I am of Rodale Press, but uh, it is recognized by the uh, uh, Internal Revenue Service as a public charity. And it has not only 501c3, but it has a 509a1 status, like a hospital. Mm -hmm. or, and, uh, so contributions to it are tax deductible. Contributions to it are tax deductible. Mm -hmm. And we've uh, actually been able to get special permission from IRS to, for my mother to transfer some of her preferred stock in Rodale Press to the Institute, which is very unique to get that permission. Yes. And but why did she want to do that? I'm sorry. Well, it was uh, for her estate planning ah. purpose, but mm -hmm. also to help the, uh, and to help the Institute. Uh, but one of the reasons that permission was given was because the Institute does so much work for the federal government, for Agency for International Development and USDA. Well, that's one of the things I wanted to ask you about was the number of organizations you cooperate with and you work with the federal government. Uh, mm -hmm. Is that one of your biggest uh, cooperators? It could well be. I, I, well. The Institute now gets a lot of support from membership. It has about 50,000 donors. Uh, publishes the New Farm magazine. Yes. And uh, it gets foundation grants, sometimes like about a million dollars some years. Mm -hmm. And then it gets, uh, it has the Agricultural Research Service person and program within it. Uh, the, uh, we have AID grants, mm -hmm. mostly for tropical and a African work. Uh, and of course, the LISA program, we get mm -hmm. some grants from that. I want